If you want to train while traveling a lot, you're basically limited to a couple of options. First, you can find gyms on your way, but many of us don't like to use them and it also can get pricey because you need to use one-time entries and these are usually much more expensive than monthly memberships. Another option is to look for outdoor workout parks, but unless you're in a country that's swarming with them, you may not find it. You can also improvise your workouts using various spots like trees, walls or ledges, but from my experience it has been very inconsistent and it takes time to find them. And there's the last way of dealing with that issue, which is also my preferred one, bringing your own gear with you. However, the problem of this solution is the size and weight of the equipment. If you want to travel light, which is something that I always strive for, you need to think about space and weight optimization of your luggage. I have always taken rings with me, because they allow me to do full body workouts, but they are quite bulky. This shape doesn't quite say optimization. So in this video I'm gonna have a look at a product that is not only way more compact, but also considerably lighter. Introducing Monkey Bars. Before we start though, I'd like to say that this is not a sponsored video. They sent me the product for free, but I'm not getting paid, so this is going to be my honest and unbiased opinion. If someone wants to pay me for advertising his shitty product, then I'm sure we can come up with something. First, let's have a look at the build quality. The kit contains two straps, two handlebars, a piece of rubber that is supposed to be a phone holder, two foot straps that are hidden inside the handles, and a carrying case that doubles up as a door anchor. Every item has a very sleek design and the materials used are high quality. The straps are marked with lines to make hanging them on the same level easier. You can definitely see that they put a lot of attention to detail. My version of the product is called Tactical Kit, which is slightly more expensive, but according to the website, comes in the most durable materials. I don't know which materials are different, but everything here looks sturdy and durable. The one issue I have with the carrying case is that no matter how much I try, I cannot pack it tight enough for this velcro to reach where it should. I think it could have been attached a little closer to make it easier. Now let's move on to the most important aspect of the product, its functionality. I am a Gymnastic Rings fanboy, so naturally I'm gonna be comparing monkey bars to them. I know it may not be totally fair, because I believe they market the product as suspension trainer, meaning that it should be used as TRX, not rings. But to be honest, I don't care. If I'm gonna consider replacing rings with this product as my go-to travel training gear, it has to have similar functionality. And if it can only be used as suspension trainer, I would probably just bring my ring straps instead. They are just slightly less comfortable to use, but even more compact, lightweight and cheap. I want to be able to perform all kinds of pull-ups, dips and levers to deem it as a better travel equipment than rings, so let's see if that's a viable option. I tested the monkey bars doing various exercises and to be honest, they're pretty great. It doesn't make much difference when performing exercises that require you to hang from them. I was worried that the handles are going to rotate as you do it, but the weight you put on creates enough friction to prevent that. If you grab in the middle of the handle, it stays horizontal, so there's no issues with stability of the grip. I was very skeptical of doing dips on these bars, as I was expecting a lot more trouble remaining stable in the support position compared to rings, but it wasn't too bad. Doing dips is slightly more difficult than on rings, but not by much. One thing that seemed to be either not possible or very hard to do is muscle up. You cannot really hold the false grip, which makes it way more difficult. In a couple of my attempts, while I was trying to do the transition, one of my wrists was losing the stability. I'm not saying it's not possible to do muscle ups, but it's not convenient and I would just give up on this exercise. In the manual it says that the weight limit for this product is 250 pounds. I am assuming that they're talking about using both handles, so that would mean 125 limit for each of them. 
However, I tested putting all my weight on a single handlebar and I didn't discover any issues, even though I weigh 180. So if you want, you can train one arm chin-ups as well. For the sake of being thorough, I also performed a couple of the easier exercises that doesn't require putting all the weight on the straps. Sure enough, the monkey bars did a good job here as well. So what is my final verdict? I'm gonna be frank with you guys, I'm surprised how similar monkey bars are to rings as far as their functionality goes. Some exercises are less convenient to do, but considering the space and weight savings, I think it is a better choice in situations where you want your luggage to stay as lightweight and small as possible. There is however one big issue that I have with this product, and that is the price. I understand that you have to pay more for high quality, but at around $200, it's overpriced in my opinion. Considering that you can get gymnastic rings for a quarter of this amount, I do believe there's some room for a discount. However, be aware that I come from a country where the minimum salary is six potatoes, so you need to assess for yourself if you see enough value for your money in this product. All I can say that if you don't care about the price, I definitely recommend the monkey bars because they do well what they're intended for.